Wow, this place is huge. <laughs> this is ours, guys. Isn't this awesome? The start to our own space empire. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to pick up uh, pretty much where we left off. I do now have the... Uh, the trader person here if um yeah it's still around the uh, i mean not too much longer than it was before but i did log out of the game and come back in later so yeah i'm not sure why they weren't there anyway they are now uh, i did a little looking around on the map before i started the recording on the economy stuff and I couldn't see anything that would come up with the Agulite crystals that we have. I even uh, typed it in the search here. It's A-G-U-I-L-I-T-E uh, crystal. And uh, when I search on it, nothing, nothing comes up. So maybe this only works for wares and not for inventory items. So, you know, it's possible that somebody else has a better price somewhere, but I'm not going to spend, you know, potentially hours looking looking around. So we're just going to sell what we have now uh, so we can get some money in our pocket. Can I help? So let's do that now. Here you go. Show me your wares. And we want to sell um, all of these in the Bandonite Crystals. The algae scrubbers. Um, that's probably something I might need for crafting. Well, here, let's sell those. Good luck out there. Let's turn that off. Uh, whatchamacallit? Encyclopedia. Inventory items. Algae scrubber. Usually found in crates and trainers. This life support enhancement uses a genetically modified form of algae as part of a biological waste recycling system. Um, how do I know if I can use it or not, though? Oh, we don't, never mind. We don't actually own an algae scrubber. I was looking at her inventory, not mine. Okay, so good. That's, um, that's all we got. So that brings our balance up to... Good luck out there. Um, 307,821. Okay. So. I want to... Take a look at our station here. And go to I was, I was looking around at some other stuff before I started the recording and I think we can actually now that we have this money I think we can actually start the build here you can put it wherever you desire oh you know what hold on before we do this good Lord let me get out of here it's so loud here I'm just gonna do this elite Vanguard with all the ships coming in. Okay. Yeah, let's just get away from the station so we have a little peace and quiet. My goodness, it's loud. Okay, we'll stop right here. Plan build. Okay, so now I I noticed um also that I actually know some of these blueprints. Um so these blueprints here I already know. And I don't know if the quest if the quest just gave those to me, it pro I'm guessing it probably did, or either Please that or you, we will be scanning or you just know that stuff, you know, right from the get go. Uh, but we, we don't actually need to buy the blueprint for the basic dock. We already know it. Here you go. The scan came back clean. Scan? Oh, 
So what I'm going to do is click on this, and we're just going to pop it right in place there. Please halt. We will be scanning your inventory. Okay. Um. So now, what we do is we, we go over we here, go. and um, we're going to need these items in order to build that. And what I can do here, let's confirm the module change. I'm still trying to figure this all out because it's way different than it used to be. Allocating credits will allow local freighters to supply construction. Okay, so if we resources needed to complete changes, I think, isn't there supposed to be an option for us to do a buy order? No builders assigned or hired. Oh, okay. Assign. Please halt. We'll be scanning your inventory. Oh, this might be. This might be a little bit of a challenge. We've detected contraband. Um. Is there actually a builder around here? Argon Prime. Yeah, see, the problem is, is I don't have satellites down, so I can't see ships flying around to assign a builder. Okay, and that might be a bit of a problem. We might have to go start plopping down some satellites at gates and stations. But the other thing, though, too, is there's supposed to be a way for me to... do a buy order so I have to figure that out so we can get those resources these resources here manage buy orders oh here we go okay so it's saying the estimated price to buy all these resources is 173,000 107 almost 174 Why is it adding all this other stuff? I mean, water kind of makes sense. We need to drink. Field coils. Energy cells. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe those are just some ancillary items that go along with it to get it to function properly. I'm going to assume that's probably what that means. So, yeah, let's you go ahead. now being targeted. What? He's not talking to me, is he? He must be talking to somebody else. Um, <laughs> Requesting permission that scared to me. Okay, let, let's accept this estimate. And then... I think... Yeah, look at that. Okay, so a ship's already going to come in and bring us our claytronics. So that'll take care of the resource. We just have to figure out how to do... the How to assign a builder. Um... Here, let's back out of here. So we are... I mean, we, we could fly around and look for one, I guess. But we can also keep an eye on, you know, the area that our satellite's in. And what is that? That's a security vessel. And if we see one fly into this spot, we could hire it. But it probably would behoove me to buy some satellites and start putting some satellites down. Um, we're going to need to do that anyway. Oh. Is it telling us to go that way? It would maybe seem to be doing that. Okay, maybe it'll maybe it'll actually lead us to a builder. Let's let's um You know what though, before we do that, let's go over to the shipyard, which is um 
Where are yeah, we need to go this way. I think the shipyard's over here. And put a satellite down there, too. Do I have more satellites? I think I have a couple more. I have three more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go over to the shipyard and drop a satellite over there, too, so we can keep an eye on it. And maybe even put one by the, the gate. I would assume I buy satellites at equipment docks, and there is an equipment dock in the Black Hole Sun. This is where, in fact, that's where we started. Oh, I think that's a builder right there. No, 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 don't go on the highway. <laughs> Get out of the highway. I think that's a builder right there. Mama, yes. Vanguard. Okay, can we... Hire for building. Unknown station. There we go. We got it. All right. Cool. That was fortunate. Okay. So the mammoth will... Should fly to our station. And when he gets there, he'll start building, assuming we have all of our resources. I'm still going to go... Uh, I'm still going to go to the shipyard, though, and put a satellite down there. Two. So I think that's a good idea. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll stop, we'll fly back through Black Hole Sun to the equipment dock and pick up some more satellites and put them in strategic locations. All right, that worked out pretty good that we found that guy. I'm going to drop the satellite more up higher here so it's not in the way of traffic so much. Well, there still seems to be a bunch of ships flying around up here, but let's see if we can just put it right here. All right. What is this thing? Mass transporter, B. Transporter of something. That? What is that? Short range transporter, A. So we could blow this up and get some rep with, uh... With Argon. Well, we just killed somebody. <laughs> somebody who's an enemy to the Argon. Okay. Pretty brutal, man. We just wasted somebody that we didn't even really know anything about him. That's terrible, but it is what it is. That's the way this game works. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Black Hole Sun, and I have three more or two more satellites, so we'll probably drop one. Um, there's a mammoth there, too. We'll probably drop one uh, near the gate on the Argon side. Okay. So yeah, if you kill um, red enemies in Argon space, that's one one way for us to get rep with them, which we need to do. Okay. Now, what I want to do is let's get a little closer to the gate here. We'll put the satellite just on the back side of it and maybe up a little bit because there will be probably no traffic on the back side of it. Not likely anyways. Or less likely. It's probably the right word to use. Alright, so let's just drop it right here. Okay. Cool. Now, let's enter the gate through the wrong direction. Doesn't matter, it'll still take us the other way. Entering system. Second contact. 
Oh, there's a data vault, you guys. Data vault. Let's go do that. Um, the, we can actually get some money from this. It'll give us uh, more history for the timeline, and I think it also starts a uh, a second uh, a side quest line for us too. Yeah, so let's do this data vault. This is the first one we've come across so far. Now I did these in the tutorial. Um, but what they'll do is they'll give you goods and open up things on the timeline and, uh, like I said, also start a side quest for us. And money, too. I think you can get money from these. Okay, so let's take and put the ship uh, right over the top of it for now. That's probably good enough. Captain Kelly, you have Elite the Vanguard. You have the helm. Okay. I guess we overshot it a little bit. That's all right. All right, so we're looking for the red panels. There's one right there. Okay, so that activates those solar panels or turns them anyways. And we have another red panel here. If I can aim properly here. Oh, maybe I'm not close enough to it. There we go. Okay. That opens up those panels. Not really seeing anything in there. Okay. Let's look for another red panel. There's one right there. Too far away. Come on. Still too far away. There, finally. Okay. Let's go um, back this way. Now let's go up above and we should be able to find the radio signal and hopefully a container with some goodies in it. Yeah, there's the radio signal right there. So we got the secondary mission now for unlocking data vaults. Oh, the other thing I think we get from doing these is we get blueprints too. So 
We can find blueprints and then that way when we need them later we don't have to buy them. There's another open compartment over here. Hopefully it's got the goodie box in it. Stop, 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 stop. Controlling this suit's a pain in the butt, man. Okay. There it is. Okay, cool. Got it. Looks like we got some stuff that we can start using to craft a seta and we got a couple mods there too Ooh. and a hundred and forty one thousand bucks we're up to 224 again now nice okay that's why we do these fantastic whoops okay let's get back to our ship I want to see, too, if that added something to our timeline. Docking granted. Clunk. Okay. Earth scientists greet the President's End Massacre. The Argon colony of President's End had no military ships and a minimal security force when unknown alien ships jumped into the system with the use of fully functional jump drives. There was barely time to breathe before these same ships opened fire on station and ship alike, tearing the small colony apart in under an hour and jumping away before the nearest Federal fleet could respond. The split would go on to name this new threat the Ka'ak, after a folktale told to scare children. The community of planets would fight a bitter fight against them for a number of years. This onslaught left ships and stations to rust where they had been annihilated by the deadly Ka'ak Kion Beam weapons. Cool. I remember that. That was pretty much... The main storyline in X2 uh, was the introduction of the cock. Cool. All right. I love that stuff. Little story action there, man. Little story action. Okay. So let's uh, hop into our ship here. Can I help? Uh, whoops. No. Goodbye. You've already helped, Captain Callie. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to proceed to Black Hole Sun. I think, uh, yeah, we want to go this way. And to the equipment dock and keep dropping down some... Uh, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, yeah, keep dropping down some more satellites. What direction am I going in? We need to go the other way. And I will meet you guys back at... That was a bad guy. I'll meet you guys back at the station and then we'll go from there. Interest. When you dock, see if you can access any of the internal structures from an elevator. Okay, so... Um, I just got that message from Boso. Apparently, uh, I'm still in Black Hole Sun. I just bought some satellites, uh, blew up another red ship, mass transporter ship. Got a little rep with Argon. And um, have been placing more satellites. So it's kind of sucks that, Black Hole Sun five. that we weren't there when it happened because it would have been fun to see, but it is what it is. So let's head on back to the ranch and see what there is to see. I, I want to actually put, um, uh, I want to put a satellite by this trading station too. So let's do that first. Let's 
so far I have satellites let's see uh, I have one here at the Argonne Wharf one at the gate I didn't put anything in flashpoint and then um, we have one by this gate going into Black Hole Sun 4 and one by the equipment dock and then we'll put the one here by this trading station as well once we get there Okay, so we are right below the Argon Trading Station, and uh, there's another bad guy we can maybe go after, but let's get the satellite dropped first. I want to kind of just get up right up underneath here so nothing runs into the satellite. Maybe go up a little higher and put it right about here. Satellite. Okay. All right. Where'd that uh, bad guy go? There he is. We want to. We don't want to hit the station though. Oh, he's going into dock. Hmm. I don't know. Should we blow him up inside the dock? <laughs> Docking granted. Oh, okay. You show mercy? Let's have many crew here. These are split, huh? Okay, they're trying to run from us. Whoops. For some reason my targeting doesn't seem to be working. They dropped something, too. What is this? Invidium Chrysolite, a Bandler Missile Capacity Mod. All right, cool. Kind of brutal, but hey, we got to get rep. <laughs> and trust me, the Split are, are an aggressive race, and they've blown up more people than I'll ever, I ever will, so that's how I justify it. We might even become a pirate at some point. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, okay, so I don't think we need to do anything else here for the moment. So let's go ahead and continue moving back towards our... Thank you. See, we got some rep there. All right, plus one. So now we're current reputation six with Argon. Fantastic. Easy way to get rep in the early game. Um, so yeah, let's head on over back to our, our station and see what happens next. Also going to put a satellite by this Talati trading station. This should be good enough. All right, let's continue on here. Um, we could get some rep with Talati. Short range transporter C. You're at your mercy. Spare us. And they dropped something too. Algae scrubber. Okay. Ah, we just got some rep from uh, Talati. So plus one, so now we're uh, one. Reputation of one positive with them. I'm going to drop a satellite here at the entrance to Grand Exchange 1 just so we can kind of monitor the gates and stuff. Uh, let's go a little bit past here. Should be adequate, I think.
All right, cool. Let's head to our base and see what happens. I think I'm going to drop satellite over here, too, since this is right in our backyard. We can keep an eye on these gates, superhighway gates. There's our dock. Very cool. So we have a slot for uh, our spots for, is it six small and one or two mediums, I think, on this dock? Something like that. All right, fantastic. We are now successfully docked. Docked at our very own dock. Very cool. Okay, so I think hello. hello. I think Boso wants us to wow. This place is huge. <laughs> this is ours, guys. Isn't this awesome? The start to our own space empire um yeah okay so he wants us to take an elevator to somewhere mm, no it appears we're still locked out from direct access it seems i have no choice i must leave my current location and join you on that station your help would be greatly appreciated I will send instructions. I didn't expect I would need to enact this escape plan so abruptly. A fast combat ship is preferable. Um. What about the wimpiest fast combat ship in the entire game? <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. So, um, in the next episode, we will, the plan, the tentative plan. Station administration would like to remind you to keep children away from the airlocks. That's a good idea. Keep those kids away from the airlocks. Um, what was I saying before my own station intercom interrupted me? Oh, yeah. Tentative plan for the next episode is to continue the storyline. Um, I might do a little bit of grinding offline. Uh, just, you know, maybe looking for some more crystals and some more data vaults to build up our money and possibly get a little bit better fighter. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a Nova with, you know, decent equipment on it. So I, I'll i either do that or we'll just start the next episode and continue the storyline. Uh, but either way, you guys will know the, the, the situation when we do start the next episode. If I do do some off-camera stuff, I'll, I'll have my finger ready on the record button to capture any significant things that happen and then just show that to you guys in a montage, much like I do uh, Excuse me, with my other videos like No Man's Sky and so forth. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.